In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the quartile, decile, and percentile of ungrouped data. So we're going to use this example. 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, 12. So this data and we're going to solve for the quartile, decile, and percentile in which we uh, usually call this measures of position because it will determine the position of a given value or it will determine the value given the position so in either case it will solve for the position of a number so let's start with the quartile so the quartile is dividing the data into four, four parts, and we are using this formula. So we have Q sub K, K stands for the position, either first, second, third, or fourth quartile. And we have the formula, K times N plus one, all over four. It's divided by four because it's quartile. And the K can be one, two, three, and four depending on what is asked. If it's asking for the first quartile, it will, it will be 1. Asking for second quartile, then the K will be 2. Asking for the third quartile, K will be 3. So we also have the TH. It means the answer for this is not yet the answer, the, not yet the, the value, but it's just uh, giving you the position. So if the answer is 4, then it, it means the fourth number. If the given is, I mean, the answer is 3, then the, it's the third number. So, but still, the, the final answer will be the value in the third number. So that's why we have a, a TH there. But still, it, it depends on the number. If it's 3, then it's going to be RD. If it's 2, then it's going to be ND for the second. And so we... we uh, have the four parts Q1 for first quartile, Q2 for second quartile, Q3 for the third quartile, and Q4 for the fourth quartile, where we, we usually solve Q1, Q2, Q3. But Q4 is unnecessary to solve because whatever is the last number, that will be the, um, the quartile four. So let's solve the first quartile. And Here's the given. If the given are scrambled, they are not arranged in order. You have to arrange it from smallest to biggest. That's necessary for a measure of position. And so let's solve the first quartile. So what's the first quartile of this given data set? So let's have the uh, let's substitute based on the formula. So our k is one times the n plus one. N is the number of data. There are six. So 6 plus 1, all over 4. And then let us solve. 1 times 7 will be 7 over 4. 7 divided by 4 will be 1.75. So it's the 1.75th number, meaning it's the first and there's an extra 0.75. So that means the answer is not yet, it's not 1. It's going to be more than 1, but around in between 1 and 3. So how are we going to find the first quartile? And so, so it's going to be like this. It's first plus the 0.75 of in between the 1 and 3, which is the second and the first. So let us substitute. The first number is 1. And the second number is 3. That's why it's 0.75 times 3 minus 1. And then, of course, We'll do uh, follow the order of operations. We're going to solve first uh, inside the parenthesis. It's going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. Then copy the rest. Then, of course, you multiply first before you add. 0.75 times 2 is 1.5. And then we will add 1 plus 1.5 is 2.5. So the first quartile is 2.5. This means 25% of the given data is lesser than 2.5. Now let us solve for the second quartile. 
So second quartile is actually the same idea with the median because it's in the middle. So this will be equal to 2 because the k is 2. 2 times 6 plus 1. 6 means the end is 6. There are 6 numbers. Plus 1. And plus 1 is constant or fixed. All over 4. So this will be equal to 2 times 7 is 14. So by the way, 7 is coming from 6 plus 1. All over 4. Then divide 14 divided by 4 is 3.5. And it's actually 3.5 number. So it's just a position, not yet the second quartile. So this means it's the third plus the 0.5 between the third and fourth. So you have to subtract fourth and the third. And so the third is five. And you have to take the 0.5 in between seven and five. So seven minus five is two. And 0.5 of two is one. So five plus one is six. So that means the second quartile is six. Or same idea as 50% uh, of the given data is lesser than 6. Because it's the median, so that's why it's, uh, it's the 50%. Now let us take the third quartile of the given data. So this will be equal to a k is 3, so 3 times n plus 1, n is 6, all over 4. So it will be equal to 3 times 7, which is 21, all over, uh, divided by 4, which is equal to 5.25, or 5.25 because it's the position, of the value, of the third quartile. So this means it's the fifth plus 0.25 of the difference between 6 and 5th. So where our sixth number is 12 and our fifth number is 10. So we're going to substitute 10 plus 0.25 of the difference of 12 and 10. So the difference of 12 and 10 is 2. And 0.25 of 2 is 0.5. So sum of 10 and 0.5 will be 10.5. So the third quartile is 10.5. This means 75% of the given data is lesser than 10.5. Now we are going to solve for the interquartile range. So notice that this is actually not on our topic, not in our title. But this is important because this is the reason why the quartile is solved. It's because of this interquartile range. Because this one will tell the will tell us if there, is, there are outliers. If you know what are outliers, outliers are numbers which are very far from the given data. If this is 1, 3, 5, 7, 10, 12, and there is a number, let's say, around 500, so that 500 is what you call outlier. That is far from the rest of the uh, majority of the numbers. So if the interquartile range is very, very big, that means there is an outlier which affects the result of the computation and it's going to be inaccurate result and you have to remove the uh, that um, outlier to fix the result to make it accurate and uh, to solve this we call it actually we call it IQR interquartile range this is actually the difference of Q3 and Q1 so the third quartile which we have solved a while ago is 5.5 and the first quartile is 2.5 so the interquartile range is 3 so this time we're gonna uh, discuss about solving the decile of the data so decile is dividing the data into 10 parts although the given is only 6 but still there are uh, imaginary numbers in between these numbers so we don't just simply consider those numbers which are which we can see but there are 
numbers in between 1 and 3, between 3 and 5, and so on. So we consider also those numbers which, which are not given. So that's why the, all the data will always be divisible by 10, even the numbers that we can see is only less than 10. And so we are going to write the formula of decile, which is equal to k times n plus 1 all over 10. So it's the same as the quartile, except that the divisor is 10. And there are 10 deciles. We have first decile, second decile, third de decile, and so on, up to the 10th decile. Of course, the 10th decile is not necessary to solve because it should be the last number um, on your data. So we only solve first decile up to the 9th decile. So we're going to solve for the third decile of this data. And we will substitute using the formula. So k is 3, which is the third decile, times 6 plus 1, because n is 6, all over 10. Then, so uh, let's multiply 3 times 6 plus 1 is 7. So 3 times 7 is 21, divided by 10 which is equal to 21 divided by 10 is 2.1. It's actually the 2.1st number. So it means it's the second plus the point 0.1 of in between third and second. Because it's more than 2, it's 2.1. So it must be the second plus the extra in between the second and third. So let's substitute. The second number is 3 plus 0.1 of the difference between the third and the second, which is 5 minus 3. So let's get the difference, which is 2. And 0.1 of 2 is 0.2. So let's get the sum of 3 and 0.2. Of course, it must be 3.2. So this means there are... Uh, uh, le there are 30% of the given data which are lesser than 3.2. Another example, let's say we want to find the 8 decile. So 8 decile is equal to, so it's going to be 8 times 6 plus 1 all over 10. And this is equal to 8 times 7 is 56 divided by 10. So 56 divided by 10 is 5.6. It's actually the 5.6 number. So it, it, this means it's the fifth plus 0.6 of uh, the six, the difference of sixth and the fifth. So the sixth number, uh, the fifth number is 10, while the sixth number is 12. So we'll get the difference between 12 and 10, which is actually two. And what's 0.6 of 2? So it is 1.2. And get the sum of 10 and 1.2. It will be 11.2. So it actually means 80% uh, of the data is lesser than 11.2. So next is we are going to find the percentile of this given data. So percentile is dividing the data by 100. So it's the same idea as the decile. So even if it's lesser than 100 numbers, still it can be divided by 100 because there are numbers in between each numbers, even if it's not given. So they are just invisible numbers. So the formula for percentile will be k times n plus 1. k is from 1 to 100 course because it's percentile divided by 100 so there are 100 percentiles we have the, the first percentile second percentile third percentile and so on up to the 100th percentile so p100 is unnecessary to solve that is actually the last number so we only saw p1 to p99 so let's say we want to solve the 45th percentile of this given data. So this is equal to 45 times 6 plus 1. 
all over 100. So 45 times 7 is 315. So over or divided by 100. And let's divide this. This will be equal to 3.15 or the 3.15th number. So it's going to be the third plus some extra number in between third and fourth. And that's where what we are going to solve. So it will be the third plus 0.15 of in between fourth and third. So how much is in between? So it's going to be uh, the third will be 5 and the fourth will be 7. So it's 5 plus 0.15 of the difference of 7 and 5. So difference of 7 and 5 is 2. And 0.15 of 2 is 3, uh, 0 0.3. So 5 plus 0.3 is 5.3. So this means 45% uh, of the given data is lesser than 5.3. So let's have another example. Let's say we want to find the 68th percentile of the, the given data above. So the formula will be 68 times 6 plus 1 all over 100. And 68 times 7 is 476 so divided by 100. So if you divide it, it will be equal to 4.76. So it's a 4.76 number from the given data. So the fourth number is 7, so it's around 7 point something. Or maybe around 8 or 9, as long as it's in between 7 and 10. So it is actually 4.76 means port number plus 0.76 of uh, in between the fifth and the fourth. So let us substitute port number is 7, the fifth number is 10. So we're going to find the difference of 10 and 7. So the difference of 10 and 7 is 3. So we want to find the 0.76 of this 3 which is 2.28 and then get the sum of 7 and 2.28 which is 9.28 so this means 68% uh, of the given data is lesser than 9.28 thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and also write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.